very good morning to all myself dr ansar ahmed and in this lectures we are going to talk about signaling techniques so this is the classification of signaling you just can see uh just a minute yeah this is the signaling techniques uh, broadly we uh, categorize or divide signaling into two sections or subdivision that is in channel and common channel this is very important categorization further uh, in channel signaling signaling is divided into loop disconnected signaling multi frequency signaling tcm signaling video frequency or ac signaling and common channel signaling further uh, divided into associated signaling non associated signaling and bias frequency channel is further divided into n band in band signaling and out band signaling so as per the syllabus or as per the requirement or of uh, frequent use of uh, signalings we will discuss about these classifications so first of all, first of all uh, let's uh, discuss about the uh, broad classification of signaling which is in channel and common channel signaling so first i'm uh, going to explain in channel signaling guys this is very important to understand what is in channel signaling and what is what is common channel signaling and then uh, of course we would like to see the difference uh, of both so uh, what is the meaning of in channel signaling it uses the same channel it uses the same channel that is in which uh, we transmit the data also use the same channel to get voice data and control signals so in channel signaling is very simple this in this uh, channel in this signalings we use uh, same uh, channel uh, which is used for voice and data and we include control part of control part of that uh, into the, into that signaling this sig uh, signaling is referred as in channel signaling or per trunk signaling okay that's why because uh, in, uh, a channel has both the control signal as as, as well as voice or data <coughs> then this is called so this is a telephone or the instrument this is uh, your channel okay this is your channel what is channel what is channel this is just like we can say uh, this is uh, the medium by which uh, signals is transferred from one place to another place and this is the exchange okay so this is the exchange okay so just you can see if, uh, if a user and uh, this is user if a user want to communicate uh, to uh, other subscriber so first of all uh, that user needs to uh, to inform to the um, to the exchange okay because all informations uh, are kept uh, at uh, exchange so yeah, this user will convey by dialing the number to the calling subscriber okay so this is the uh, this is the things uh, that is this is the number uh, which we can consider as the data and uh, where it want to connect that is in in india or abroad or local so this uh, this all informations are the uh, are the controlling uh, information or signals control signals are those signals which help out to establish maintain and reduce the call these are very important uh, i mean uh, i would like to say this is uh, this is important as your voice and data so the, it cannot be ignored and signaling is uh, that uh, sig signaling is uh, the control signals which help out to do this one so uh, we, here we are uh, just uh, trying to know uh, how many type of signalings we have 
So first is in channel signaling in which data and control signals are uh, combined in a channel. And then common channel signaling. The train in modern network is to provide enhanced signaling facilities for the subscriber, the switching system and the telephone administration. CCS is uh, uh, the modern uh, signaling system which brought a revolution in the telecom system. So it is provided to enhance signaling facilities for the subscriber. This is good for subscriber, for switching system as a whole and telephone administration as well. Such a requirement is provided by the common channel signaling. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, this all uh, requirement is fulfilled by the common channel signaling and uh, an alternative to in-channel signaling. So this is the uh, this is an alternative to in-channel signaling called as common channel signaling. In common channel signaling, one channel in each link is used for signaling to control signal. So in this one, you can see uh, in, in each link is used for signaling to control signal. CCS uses a separate signaling channel. CCS uses a separate signaling channel only then the signaling path passes through the same set of switches and does the speech. So you can say CCS uses a separate signaling channel only then the signaling path passes through the same set of switches as does the. So in here the difference in the in channel and common channel signaling that is in common channel signaling is separate. So in uh, CCS in place of uh, having the uh, same channels to transfer control as well as data in CCS there is a separate channel for the data for the data as well as uh, as well as for the uh, speech and this is the common channel signaling uh, that is you can see this is the exchange and this is to exchange exchange one exchange two exchange two and uh, this is the uh, this is the user uh, which want to uh, which want uh, to send some information to other subscribers so suppose uh, that is the ISD or a steady call so uh, we would use the trunk for that purpose and uh, signaling that is uh, this signaling signaling this is the signaling network which is different which is not part of that channel so it's separate link is used for the signal for the control signals okay so this is the difference between the CCS and in channel signalings advantage of CCS trunks are not required for signalings because uh, it is uh, sent uh, to the different faster and simpler to transfer information between control processors because it is taking different parts so which is uh, which may be considered as the free one no possibility of interference with the speech path because this is separate signaling can't be accessed by customer because it is not the cup of tea of customer it is going on the uh, separate link so it cannot be accessed by the customer disadvantage cc link can be a single sing single point of failure but uh, if this is failed, then the entire process goes down. No inherent, inherent testing of a speech path by call setup signaling. CCS response time is correct, critical. So I will discuss in the difference of this in channel versus common channel channels. So this is very important uh, topic. Uh, what is the difference between in channel and common channel signaling? So let's have in channel signaling. This is in channel signaling and this is common channel signaling. So the first is trunks are held up during signaling. So trunks are held up during signaling because uh, speech and control signal are sent on the same channel. Trunks are not required for signaling. Okay, signaling repertoire is limited. Okay, signal repertoire that is uh, uh, we can uh, say that is variation. Uh, signal variation may be limited because uh, signals uh, uh, is uh, sending uh, along with the speech but here there may be more than one combinations or facility to send 
of control signal automatic propagation of signal information enable the simultaneous process and release of associate so this is the uh, automatic propagation of signal information enable the simultaneous process release of associate facilities while in signaling information must be relayed from one node to the next in a store and partner way while in this case the uh, 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 because this is uh, this is uh, using separate channels so um, it is transferred from one node to another node interference four point this is four point interference between wires and control signal may occur because both are uh, sent on the same channel so they may be interfered no interference as the two channels are physically separate but the separate signaling uh, equipment is required for each trunk and hence is expensive Okay, only uh, one set of signal equipment is required for a whole uh, group of trunks, uh, circuits and therefore CCS is economical because uh, uh, that is the just uh, only one functions of uh, controlling that is to send the control signals. So it is uh, as economical. It is difficult to change and add signals because, because everything is uh, fixed. There is flexibility to change and a add signals because both are the different so it may be a, a signaling control signals or the speed signals may be changed as per the requirement it is difficult to handle signaling during speed because uh, along with the say, control signals uh, control signals speed uh, signal is also there there is freedom to handle signaling during speech period because both are uh, going on the different link so guys it was all about the in channel and common channel signals hope you got it uh, if you are not getting anything please let me know on the next time we will talk some other important thing till then have a great time